Today we're going to run off 1,000 shirts. Be sure to stay tuned. What's up, Wayne? What's so up? We're, we're doing a thousand shirts for Mr. Wayne, and he is here helping out with the process. Hi. There's Michelle. Oh, well, Michelle's a married woman now. She got married this weekend. This is true. So tell her congratulations. <laughs> so here are the shirts. We already did the front print on them. It's a pretty simple design. However, this thing ate up a lot of ink. There is a pretty big footprint as far as this front print goes. The back's gonna be a little simpler. But here are the other shirts. The back is just going to be mainly text. We've got a little graphic in the middle, so we're using a white base. The press is currently warming up. We always warm the pallets up before we get started printing. And of course, we got the flattening screen. It's definitely time to change the tape, but here is the kind of darker color outline for the wrestlers. Dark gray. Then we've got a light gray as well. And last but not least, we're doing a Sienna Brown. We're doing a Sienna Brown last because it generally gets a little lighter if you put it further up the line on the press. So this is last. With the front print, we did it the same way. We did the brown last. We actually did our highlight white, I think at uh, station number, number five over there. And then here are some of the other colors that we had to use for the front print. We just got kind of like a, a khaki color and then we were using a cream color. However, once these pallets are finished warming up, we're gonna get after it and we'll kind of keep track of time and see how long it takes. And there's the lovely Miss Shannon. Yo! How are you feeling today? Like crud. <laughs> but you hear it's that? a cold. <laughs> oh, and it, it was her birthday not that long ago. I think we were live on, on your birthday or the day after. Was it? I forget. I don't know. Monday. <laughs> My and there's a, Apollo doing his thing. <laughs> and one of the other things we got going on is we got a little bit of a lint scraper on here. It's just screen tape. One of the sticky sides is here. Took another piece, flipped it around. And what that will help do is catch lint. So that way it will avoid plugging up our white base.
Thanks for tuning in. It was a lot of fun printing those thousand shirts. Wayne came in and helped. He was actually operating the press, which was really cool. Had very little experience operating an automatic and he was able to just jump in with me just giving him a little bit of instruction. Had my brother here to help out as well because we, we needed someone to load up ink. So initially when we did the front side of the shirts, I was loading, we just had this little red cart over here. We had that kind of over here in this space and I was just pulling shirts from it. We're able to squeeze it out of the shop, toss more shirts on, kind of roll it back in, that kind of thing. Uh, Michelle was stacking. So we had a loader, unloader, uh, someone loading ink and someone stacking. The person that was uh, stacking, it was kind of not just their responsibility, but we kind of did it in a way towards where we're kind of sharing who's bringing in the shirts. It's a nice thought to be able to have all 1,000 of them just sitting up on a, sing on a single table. But uh, realistically, I mean, 250 shirts per stack is uh, just fine. And it makes it a little easier to put them back in the boxes and everything. And it took us, I think we were pacing uh, somewhere around, I think we we're pacing at somewhere around 350 shirts an hour with that kind of setup. And that's really just taking our time. Uh, some of these prints ate up a lot of ink. I think we went through three gallons of white ink and it's kind of been hard getting white ink. So it's like, oh crap, we might need some more ink. And so we're making phone calls and because uh, we only had a, a couple of gallons. So we thought that would be enough or at least, it might have been three gallons. I think we were kind of worried we were gonna run out of that third gallon, but it ended up lasting. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you have any questions about kind of handling jobs like that on an automatic, or even if you're doing it on a manual, um, just having as many helping hands as possible to kind of get it in and out, uh, even though you are paying employees to help you out. You do get it done faster and you know, everybody gets to make some money off of it. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.